I'm Joan Owings from McDonough, Georgia. I've been building parks for 15 years. I own my own skate park, and I'm proud to say that I put food on the table with my manual labor. Man, you labor! Today we're going to build one of the main essentials to all skate parks, the quarter pipe. One of the first things I ever built was a quarter pipe, and this is an item that you have to learn how to build if you're going to build either for yourself or a skateboard park. It's fun to ride, also fun to build, so let's get to work. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a transition. You remember in school when you pulled out that compass and played around with it on paper? We're going to do a 7 foot 6 inch version of a compass. This is what we're going to use to create our transition. This piece right here is going to actually be the transition. When we take it to 4, if that's where your ramp is going to be built at 4 foot, that's your stopping point. We're going to have to go to 6, so we're using a scrap piece up here so we can add 2 foot and make our 2 foot extension. This piece right here is where our 2x4 is mounted so we can create our compass. So now we're going to put all this stuff together and I'm going to show you where to put your arms so you can swing it and create your transition. This is where the transition is going to meet the flat bottom. So basically we're going to measure up 7 foot 6 inches and that's where we're going to put our screw. So right now, I'm marking out my number for my height of my ramp. You want a full two inches under the actual six foot because you have coping and plywood and deck that has to go on. So now basically we've created a square and that's gonna give us the points we need to swing our compass. All right, right now what I'm doing is I'm popping a line for my transition number, which is seven foot six inches. So this two by four is gonna be our compass arm. We're gonna mark it at seven foot six inches, and that's where I put my screw so I can swing my arm and make our, our arc. Now we're gonna put it on our giant piece of paper here and figure out where we're gonna swing it. So this is where our preparation pays off. We're gonna take our pencil, put it against our swing arm, and draw our transition. Now, if you're just doing a four foot quarter pipe, you can stop right here. So since we're going six feet, we're gonna go up another two feet to the top of our ramp. One more tip, two by six is an inch and a half thickness. You're gonna take your speed square, pull it over to where the tranny meets, we're right there. That's where you're gonna cut it off. So you can move your ramp without breaking all this off. We've measured it out and we want to put our stud on an 80 inch mark, which is our last stud, which connects our top to our bottom piece. And basically there's our mark right there. You can take a scrap, see how we line it up perfectly on the line? Take your pencil, from here, speed square, come out like that. We're going to cut this out, drag this piece on, trace it cut them both out, put our studs on, and attach our top to our bottom. We've traced out our notch, now I'm gonna cut it out. So you need two templates to make one transition. If you do it right, you can get two out of one sheet of plywood. That's template two. Now we need to cut our extension part so we can go to six feet. Now we're going to trace it out on another scrap, cut it out, and our templates will all be complete. And there's your last template for our extension for our six foot quarter pipe. So now we're going to mark out our studs. We have two templates together. I'm going to take out my tape measure, pull it every eight inches, 
make my marks, and then we can nail everything together. Zach. We cut out our transitions, we've marked our transitions for our studs. On the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to cut the studs in a quicker manner, and that way you can get a lot done at a faster pace.